Hello, friends. This summer's turned out really hot, but fall has already shown up on our calendars, and that means it's time for a new major War Thunder update, the Drone Age. It brings reworked visual effects and models, a new tech tree and a unique vehicle class, some picturesque locations, and of course, some new metal beasts you've been waiting for. But first things first. We'll start with the new class, Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, which come in two types. The first is a light reconnaissance UAV available to light vehicles of rank 6 and 7 as upgrade modules. It's a combat consumable that can spawn at low altitude to have a look around the battlefield. It may help you to get ready to meet your enemy, supply your allies with some intel, or mark a square on your map. Forewarned is forearmed. UAV Type 2 is much more dangerous. It's a large strike and reconnaissance drone available in battles starting at a certain BR. You can pilot it once you've earned enough spawn points using any vehicles from your lineup. It functions much like the nuclear bomber, just requiring fewer points. The combat UAVs have target sight systems, thermal vision devices, and laser target designators. But most importantly, they're armed with guided bombs and missiles. The ammo pool is small, but you can always reload on the airfield and return to battle. Now here come the new visuals. Ground vehicle destruction effects have achieved an entirely new level. Tank explosions are now unique. For instance, you can see the burning road wheels fly away, skip, and roll around the landscape, leaving smoldering trails. Should a full ammo rack detonation occur, even finding the tank would become a non-trivial task. The only clues would be its blown up turret, a hole in the ground, and some scattered metal pieces. Moreover, we've improved the penetration render in the hangar protection analysis screen, as well as the destruction replay camera. Shell models have also been updated. The penetration process now demonstrates the breach forming with procedural generation of the shell interacting with the armor. Aviation has received some new features too. Local fires and smoke aren't limited to certain aircraft modules now either. They can also catch where a round hits the covering. These local effects don't inflict additional damage, they're for visual variety only. Wait, that wasn't some fireworks. That's the fuel tanks exploding. Just look at how much fire we've got here. We've also prepared a few new mechanics for our pilots. Number one is manual and automatic engine fire extinguishing systems. They first made their debut back in the World War II era, and today pretty much any military aircraft is equipped with them, both planes and helicopters. Fire extinguishing systems will be added to more than 100 planes and choppers in this update alone, and we're going to add them to other combat aircraft that had them in real life too. The second mechanic is the emergency suspended armament drop. With this, whenever you have to, you can drop all your bombs and missiles without having to look for a target and wait for a launch. With the click of a button, you can lighten your plane or heli, for instance if you expect imminent air-to-air -air action. We haven't forgotten the new research trees. The Israeli ground branch receives some massive reinforcements. The Merkava, Mark III C, Bet Baz, and a whole line of Magogs, featuring various modifications. Now China gets a full-scale helicopter tree. Starting with the familiar Gazelle, then there's the multi-role Z9 and Z11, and here's the Z10 strike helicopter. Are you ready for our traditional vehicle parade? Let's go! And the honor to start it is given to one of the most requested planes. Did you ask for a Soviet A-10? Please welcome the Rooks. The Su-25 and Su-25K are all fueled, armed, and ready to crush enemy armor. They have built-in and suspended cannons, a hefty stock of rockets of multiple calibers, conventional bombs, and guided air-to-surface missiles. For self-defense, they also have IR-guided air-to-air missiles, and the pilot is shielded from enemy fire with an armored enclosure. So, which plane are you expecting next? Maybe a new French Mirage? Oh wait, we've got just the one! Please welcome the most famous French jet fighter, the Dassault Mirage 2000, modification CS5. This incredibly beautiful combat bird has inherited all the best features of its predecessors to truly become a top aircraft. It's powered by an amazing turbojet engine, and its nine hardpoints can carry a wide range of suspended armament. 
Britain receives the long-awaited Skink, a new mid-rank anti-air vehicle based on the Sherman. Its four 20mm autocannons can create a wave of fire so thick no pilot will be able to ignore it. Heli fans will be happy to see the Italian T-129 and the South African Ruifolk. As proper strike helicopters, they're armed with 20mm cannons and rockets, as well as air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. The vast naval expanses are now furrowed by the Alaska cruiser and the Andrea Doria battleship. The American ship can boast a strong anti-aircraft battery, while the Italian one carries no less than 13 305mm main caliber guns. That's far from everything the drone age brings into the game. Take a moment to admire the new locations. Pradesh, with its noble mountain ranges, will host mixed battles with both air and ground vehicles, and the Golden Bay that will look over naval giants clashing in combat. As usual, the full changelog is available on our official website. Please subscribe to our channel, try out the new vehicles, test the drones, and don't forget to share your impressions in the comments. Good luck!